What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an ESP32 CAN bus uh, system on a breadboard. So I did this using uh, the ESP32 from Kiyi's uh, that I've shown here on the right and the um, Connymark, or Commimark five piece CAN bus module, uh, which I also got from Amazon, uh, which I have uh, right here. So first off, I'll get into the uh, wiring setup that I did for the breadboard. And then I'll show you how to download uh, a CAN driver system for Arduino and program the ESP32s. And uh, I'll do a quick demo uh, sending a Hello World data packet uh, from one ESP32 to the next. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Josh. I'm an embedded software and electronics engineer. I like to make cool electronics projects, uh, such as the one I'm going to show to you today. And if you have any recommendations of projects you want to see, please drop them in the comment section below. And as always, please drop a like and subscribe if you like the content. So I found this pretty awesome article that explains uh, the CAN protocol and also how to hook this up to an ESP32. Um, they used a different CAN transceiver from the one I have, which is the only uh, sort of novelty that I had to deal with, although it wasn't too hard to figure out. So they're using um, this CAN transceiver right here, uh, which is based on the TJA1051T. Um, so this one right here. However, I bought this one. Uh, so some other advice wasn't directly applicable. Uh, for example, they, they connected these 10K resistors for some reason between uh, the transceiver and the ESP32. I tried that, but it didn't work with these. So uh, 
yeah, it's a good reference, but you can't copy it directly. Um, so I used this ESP32 right here. And one thing you have to keep in mind is that um, as this image actually does depict, you need to connect uh, a CAN TX pin, which can be in any pin of the ESP32, um, uh, well, any GPIO pin, and you need to connect that to the TX of the CAN transceiver, which is a little counterintuitive. Usually UARTs go from TX to RX, but that's not the case here. You want CAN TX to connect to TX. Uh, and also, this doesn't have to be the UART pins. As a matter of fact, um, I did not use the UART pins. I just used a GPIO pin that was not a UART pin. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but you don't have to do that. So I used um, GPIO uh, 4 and 0 right here. Um, and uh, I'll show you how I hooked that up. So the other thing to keep in mind is we're going to need some sort of CAN driver uh, for the system. And luckily, um, this article links us to um, this GitHub repo, which I have pulled up right here. Uh, so you can take a look at this. So I, I was just reading the readme file. It says it works with ESP32. Uh, great. So uh, I just Git cloned it and uh, installed it as an Arduino library. So um, for example, here you can see I did the Git clone and then I put it in my downloads folder. Uh, and then what you do is you go to sketch, uh, include library, add a, add a zip library. Um, and then you uh, go to the place that you install it. So I've already done that. So if I do it again, it'll just say like error, you've already installed this. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna need to do that. Uh, another thing you're gonna need to do is open up. Well, yeah, I guess before installing um, the library, just go make a new sketch, uh, for example, like this, and then go to uh, this, this article and just copy this code right here. Uh, so that's what I did earlier. Paste it uh, into here, just like that. Um, so cool, I don't need to do that again, but uh, for reference, that's what you do. And another thing to keep in mind is they have these uh, definitions up here. So the default for this sketch that they provide is 21 and 22. And I chose, um, to use four and zero, which is why I put these up here. Uh, and the cool thing about this provided sketch is that um, the sketch can either configure the ESP32 to be an RX or, or a TX device. So the way you uh, switch that around is you just uncomment uh, here and here. So this one is gonna be a receiver and this one's gonna be a CAN sender. Uh, and then you just uh, flash the sketch onto uh, your devices. So we are now ready to flash uh, our ESP32s. On the left here, I'm going to flash the CAN receiver code. And on the right, I'm going to flash the CAN transceiver code. Uh, so here on the left, um, we'll just double check what port we're using. COM6, cool. Then I will click upload. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save it. No, I do not. Um, and as always with ESP32, we have to hold down um, the reset pin uh, as it flashes. So I will do that. Another thing we have to do uh, for some reason is disconnect the uh, power to the CAN transceiver. I kind of just figured this out through trial and error. It wasn't working until I did this. Uh, a little strange, but uh, regardless, that is how you make it work. Uh, and on the right side here, we will select COM10. Cool, and we will click upload and then do the same thing. So I will hold on to the reset and then I'm going to disconnect power and it is now flashing. And I will hook this back up. So now uh, we can open the respective serial monitors. So this would be the receiver one. And then here I'm going to open up the transmitter serial monitor, and I will press both of their reset buttons. And uh, what's going on with COM6 here? Give me a reset. Let's try this one more time. 
serial monitor. Oh, that is because I'm not clicking reset. There we go. So now we can open up their uh, respective serial monitors. So I'll come up here and look at that. It's transmitting stuff. I'll come up here and I will press the serial monitor and look at that. It's receiving stuff. Uh, so that uh, kind of shows that everything's working. And uh, another thing we can do just to kind of prove that it works is we'll just change the message uh, slightly. So we'll come here, we'll click uh, one, two, three. Uh, let's flash that onto the transceiver. Um, so we can see here that it has stopped sending packets because it is flashing. I will um, do the whole reset of the ESP32 again. Connect this back in. And let's press uh, on to the reset button of the transceiver. Cool. Now we are transmitting a different message. Hello, one, two, three. And there you have it. We have a working CAN bus system with the ESP32 microcontroller.